I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have another crafters spotlight for you and we are in Ikea and we'll be taking a look at the home organization department today. I have created a whole series of Ikea videos focused on the crafter, showing you some of my very favorite store and how you might be able to find some exceptional crafty finds. Ikea is divided into two main sections and that would be the showroom and then the marketplace. The home organization department is actually in the marketplace where you can pick up goods, add them to your basket if you will, and it is a really large area that encompasses a lot of different products. I will be sharing six main categories of crafting finds that you can find in the home organization department. Let's go! The first category we are going to look at are items for the wall of your craft space. The Scatus pegboard system has become a really popular item at IKEA. There are three different sizes ranging from $9.99 to $16.99 and they can be customized and put together to fit your space. There are all kinds of accessories available just be forewarned that only accessories bought at IKEA will work with the IKEA pegboard system. A piece that might be a little bit more affordable for your craft room is the shoe organizer. It's the Stuke line and it's actually on clearance right now at Ikea. These are great for hanging on the back of your door and holding all kinds of craft supplies. And for under $4, it is a super affordable way to get your space organized. Ikea has a huge line of shoe organizers that are meant to hang on the wall, starting with the Trona's line. And it is simple, white has a little lip along the top that you can also put things in. And I like how slim line it is. It uh, mounts really close to the wall. There's all different styles, including this Hemneys style that coordinates with the whole Hemneys collection. But here's the thing. So this one has a small drawer and then I think that you could use some boxes, some bags, some storage pieces to organize craft supplies within this small compartment. And I just like how slim it is to the wall. If you have to keep your craft supplies in a dining room or maybe in the living room or maybe in a playroom where your kids are, these are fantastic for storing them away in a really efficient manner. They come in a variety of colors and styles like this Brusali piece and they range anywhere from $10 to $20 all the way up to $50, $60 depending on the style and the size that you're looking for. This is a stall piece and it is four compartments for $100. It's nice, slim, white and I do think it's going to be an effective way to store a few of your craft supplies in a slim line manner. Ikea also has a huge array of wall hooks, probably meant to hold keys and purses, things like that. But of course we use these in our craft rooms all the time for storing fabric, bags, scrap bags, anything like that. They also have these hat organizers and this is the Chusig line and I like that it has the shelf on top so you could definitely store some bins on top and then the hooks below for storing all kinds of goodies. The Vissel Magazine rack is white, metal, really durable, great for utilizing wall storage in your craft space, but it does not fit 12 by 12 papers. IKEA carries a pretty large array of memo boards for your wall, ranging from the Vagus memo board, which is the most basic cork board for $5.99, up to the newer line of the Svenza's memo boards, which are a thicker cork for $10. I happen to like the Sodergarn memo board right here, made out of metal so you can use magnets on it, and it also has that open grating look so you can hook things on it as well. Very versatile, and um, I really like some of the different options that they have here to choose from. The Totobo line has some nice chunky magnets that you're able to use on all of the metal memo boards. And my favorite thing that I found in the wall storage area was this key cabinet by Pronka. I thought it was super cool, but I cannot find it on the IKEA website, which leads me to believe it might be going out of stock. So go look for it at an IKEA near you. Category number two in the home organization department would be on the desk storage. There's a huge variety of accessories that you can use for desk storage in a variety of different styles to fit your needs. 
This is the Fajala desk organizer. It also comes in white and I use it in both of my children's rooms to hold all of their art supplies neatly on their desk. I like that it's tiered and you can fit large pieces of paper in the back because it is 13 inches across. These are the Palra mini drawers for $15 and it comes in that minty green and the start gray, but I question the durability. They are primarily paper, cardboard. You can see that the handles have ripped off of all the display pieces, so I'm not sure how well these would hold up. The Jenna desk organizer um, comes in a variety of patterns. You can see that particular one is on clearance. There are also a variety of desk pads. I like this Riesla one, which is a faux leather. And for $25, I think it is a pretty good deal. The one that I have used before in my craft room is actually the Skvalra and it is white and plastic and very cheap and affordable. Great for protecting your workspace. Ana Lenare is a fun line of desk accessories. They have these sweet metal bins. And then I love this spinning piece. It's small, great for all of those tiny bits and bobs that are on your desk. One of my favorite desk organization pieces is this Mope mini storage chest. And I love the durability of it and that it is completely customizable. You can paint it. They have one example here of some act abstract art they have done on their display piece, but it is a lot of fun to use and to work with. And I like that it can really be customized to go with your space. The Flit magazine files are super affordable. You get five for $2, but be warned they are cardboard. So if you're going to be taking things in and out of them frequently, I'm not sure that they're going to hold up. However, if it's for storage of pieces that you don't reach for very often, then these would probably work great in your craft space. The Vissel magazine holders are a little bit more expensive, but because they're metal, they will definitely hold up longer. Category number three in the IKEA home organization department is bin storage. IKEA is known for having a variety of bins in shape, style, and material, and it certainly does not disappoint when you come down here to the home organization department. There are a lot of choices and you're definitely going to find exactly what you are looking for. We're going to start with the Kugis series and it is made of a durable plastic. There are lids with each box. You can see there are a variety of sizes that stack really nicely because of the lids, which works out well in a craft space. The pricing is pretty reasonable from $3.99 up to $14.99. And there are a couple of other colors available as you can see right here. These real casters were new to me. You get four for $10 and I saw them used on a variety of different pieces, including this plastic soccer bit bin and a craggling wooden crate. Great for moving around your craft space. There are a huge variety of bins made to fit the Calyx storage unit. So we have these Leckman plastic boxes right here, which are nice and sturdy, but can get really heavy. There are some wicker choices, of course, the standard cloth. And then my favorite one was a Bladra felt bin, which you'll see here at the bottom for $10. I just really liked the style, the durability, and thought it looked pretty cool in the Calyx unit. There are a lot of choices here for your Calyx units. What I like is that you can pick up these boxes, try them out in the unit mix and match and find what works best for your style. I love all the colors and materials that they come in, but make sure you're looking for smaller dividers as well so that items don't get lost in these bigger cubes. The Jenna storage boxes are so great because they are easily customizable. You can paint them, you can decorate them, you could decoupage. They are made of cardboard, so if you're storing heavier things, that might not work out. But as far as organizing some of the contents of your craft closet, these are a great option. These Fajala boxes are a bit more durable than the Tangena line, so you'll pay a little bit more. And I also discovered this very cool insert. It's called the Full Folja Divider, and you can stack them within one box. So if you have beads, ephemera pieces, maybe jewelry making supplies, this is a great way to keep them all organized in one place. I love that it fits perfectly. 
The Fajala boxes come in white as well and they're pretty affordable from $3.99 all the way up to $12.99 for the largest box. I like the metal accents on them as well. Ikea actually has a pretty big variety of trash cans, including the Strapots line, which is a metal trash can, two different sizes with a pedal, which works great with the lid. There's also this really affordable Frisch trash can for only $2 available in black and in white. I like this one the best. This is the Mutsa trash can. It is small, which is great for a craft room or a small craft space. And I really like the white and metal combination. And if you're looking for a punch of color, these Nod trash cans are fantastic. They come in this blue and a white, a metal, sturdy, kind of old school looking trash can. Now, I had no idea that Ikea was now carrying such a wide array of baskets. This is the Snidad basket, which I thought would be fabulous in a craft room for holding yarn or fabric that you might be working with. There's also the Shilvips line, which is kind of a more traditional look. It's made for decor in your living room. But of course, these can be fun storage pieces to mix and match in your craft room just to change up the look, give it a little bit more organic, natural feel. When you are considering different storage options for your craft space, don't forget about these more natural looking materials. Yes, you can go all white, you could go all plastic and it gives a very clean look, but when you're able to incorporate some warmer pieces like these into your space, it makes it feel more homey and inspiring. There are a variety of sizes, so you can use them for lots of different things, including project storage, paper storage, ink storage, anything like that that you could place on your shelf. You have a beautiful piece to look at and a place to hide some of your bits and bobs from crafting. Within the home organization department, there are also a few unconventional bin storage ideas that I had while looking around. The first of which is this laundry bag. For $5.99, this is a laundry bag with a metal stand. It's called the Jaw Laundry Bag, and I thought it would be fabulous for storing wrapping paper supplies. The Gruntal laundry storage system is a little bit sturdier. It does have casters and again, great for storing some of those taller supplies like wrapping paper, some of the longer papers, things like that. The fact that it wheels around is nice and convenient. And here are some scoob laundry storage options as well for a little bit less expensive. This is a large laundry basket called the Torquist basket. And if you are someone that has to craft on the go or has to store all your craft supplies and put them away, I like the flexibility of this. It's a great medium size. The Stuke line of closet organizers is fantastic for organizing a craft closet. Of course, it's meant for clothing, but there's lots of different bin options as far as what fits in some of these larger hanging dividers. So you can be sure to check it out. I like how they often are divided. It's a pretty sturdy material, but it's also a beautiful pattern and color and you can change it up. These smaller bins often fit into the larger closet organizing hanging system. So if you are limited on space and keeping your craft supplies all in one smaller place, this is a fantastic option. And you can see there's lots of different sizes available. Favorite closet organizer that I found for craft supplies was the store Stabe one in blue. And what I liked is on the side, you can see there are some extra functionality, some smaller pockets, kind of a strap that you could hang things off of. I think that this could be really functional for a crafting closet. So it's a pretty good option for only $15. The home organization department is also where they display the storage for utility rooms and garages. But of course, these storage pieces can be really versatile for a craft area also. The Ivar system is made of wood, so you can paint it and customize it as you please. And the piece that really stuck out to me was this desk. It's very slim line. You can see all you have to do is move it. There is a catch point so it doesn't just fall open on you. You press it down and you have a pretty sizable workspace plus some storage in the back with some shelving and storage underneath. What I said before, I really like the slim line of this and it would be great in a dining room. There are also some other parts of the Ivar system like these locker pieces, drawers that attach to shelves, just some things that you can customize and really make work for your space. 
Again, don't let the wood tones throw you off. You can, of course, paint these and finish them however you like. The Hejni system is another line of wooden shelves that are not quite as ideal for craft rooms because all of the shelving has slits in it, so things do fall off. But they do have some cool options as far as accessories that hook onto shelves. And of course, you can customize these as well. The Broer system is one that I have talked about before because of the functionality of the utility cart that you can get as part of the system. I like the sturdy metal shelving, some of the accessories that you can attach to the outside of the shelves like hooks and extra little bins. Here is one of the utility carts for $99 and then they have a larger one for I believe it's $129. There are cabinets, there are all kinds of things that you can use in your craft space. Of course this is designed for a utility area, for a garage but I've talked before about customizing that wooden top and spraying the metal and a pop of color in your craft space which would be a lot of fun. Jonaxel is a line of drawers that are made of metal. There are some larger wire drawers like you see here in various heights and widths that will fit your space. The wire drawers are a little bit tricky as far as things falling through so you might want to opt for the smaller mesh in a craft space. Okay, the last category I have to share from the home organization department are some storage accessories. Starting out with this rolling bag, the start it line is a great possibility if you are someone that likes to go to crops. If you take your supplies on the go, there is a whole series of backpacks and luggage that are really affordable. It might be a great choice for you packing your supplies. And actually they have this line of really lightweight pieces. This is a Nala backpack for $4.99 and it compresses to be super small. So maybe you take it with you when you are shopping or at an expo of some sort. It compresses really small in your purse but can open up to carry your supplies. They have, like I said, a series of rolling bags, different backpacks that all fit together. This is from the Forankla line and I will make sure to link all these below. Yes, they are all in black so it's it's not the most exciting colors, but of course you can add patches and pins and things to make it your own. Some of the organization within is a little bit lacking, but if you have other pouches that you're bringing anyway, it might work really well for you. Speaking of traveling with smaller pieces, this Forfina line is a travel accessory set and these travel sets are great for when you are going to a crop and you have small pieces, beads, sequins, things like that. This is a really cheap way to get a lot of storage pieces all in one. They're obviously made to travel. They can just be thrown in your bag and it will be a great way to bring those supplies along with you. Now this might look a little bit unusual, but I was thinking this Pressa drying rack would be great for drying pieces within your craft space. Can you imagine hanging tags or other things that you need to dry or display even? Um, I think this would be a super cute way to do it. And speaking of drying racks, there are several in the laundry department here in the home organization area. This is the frost one. What is great about these drying racks is that they all collapse into a much smaller piece so you can store them in your craft area. If you don't need one as big as the last, the jaw is a great option for only $10 for laying out pieces so that they don't take up desk space. And then you have the Mulig one which folds out to become much bigger. I also spotted this shoe rack and you can see that they are made to stack on top of each other but this would be a great option within another shelving system to get the most out of your shelves. So if you have some deep shelves or super tall shelves that you don't need all of that vertical space, try something like this shoe rack for giving you extra storage space. And last but not least, the home organization department is home to all kinds of fun little accessories. And one of the favorites I found was this Nall Beige line. They have this pouch, which has tons of dividers inside. Fantastic for holding craft supplies. And they even have a smaller set of three accessory pouches. Super affordable, super soft to travel with, easy and portable. Great for storing your supplies on the go. And that is just a small look at the home organization department of Ikea. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have all of the links to the products I talked to below as well as a link to join my email newsletter list. I have an email that goes out every couple of weeks with organization hacks, 
tips and tricks for crafting and just all kinds of scrappy fun. So consider joining in. I hope you have a great day and as always, keep it creative.